Now let us look at this cloud of witnesses. He starts off. Through faith we understand. Faith, faith, faith. Faith come by Jesus Christ. Grace come by Jesus Christ. But all our faith years come out of the old. So <laughs> this is the people that were in the cloud. And they literally went through the pit to get to the cloud. We're not even going to go through the pit to get to the cloud. And if we are still alive, we're going to just change and be with the cloud forever. By faith. Listen, verse 4, Hebrews 11, the first one, the cloud of witnesses, Abel, by faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained a witness <laughs> that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, by it being dead, he speaks to us. Even if it takes everything of you, do not compromise because life is right inside of you. We have this hope inside of them. They didn't have hope, but God's covenant was in the clouds. And he said, fear not, O land, fear not, people. I will not leave you. I will not forsake you. I'll be with you. Listen to the second one. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not See death. Oh, I don't believe in immortality. It's impossible. Really? So the problem is the whole world is looking for immortality and anti-aging. But there is a scripture that I really need to go to. And it's in Timothy. It says only God has immortality. You're not going to find it in any other religion. No health products is going to bring immortality. Immortality is only with God. And God says in Romans 2, he says, see glory, honor and immortality. Glory and honor is resurrection and immortality and you'll have everlasting life. So this is the whole package. Now Enoch lived before Noah, the seventh. So he is a picture of the seventh day on the earth. What is going to happen? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so everybody wanted to Rapture, rapture, rapture. I was so scared of the rapture. I always thought I was going to miss it. I thought Bible school is the best place for me to be when the rapture comes. <laughs> we're not going to be raptured because he's coming down here and maybe we're going to miss each other. No, man, that's stupid. Guys, he says, how is it going to happen? 1 Corinthians 15, a trumpet. The dead will raise and then the living will be changed and death is swallowed up alive. 1 Thessalonians 4.13, a trumpet. The dead will raise and we are swallowed up by life. That is why we, are, we do not mourn like people that have no hope. And we will be ever with God in this caught up state. Because what is it? This is how God originally created things. Oh, come on. Enoch did not see death and was found because God translated him before the translation. He had a testimony. He was a witness. Now, I want you to see in this chapter, there's Abel and there's Enoch. And now there's a break. But without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Now, he starts with Noah. Noah brings the new day. Noah prepared an ark and then it's Abraham and everybody else that followed were in the seed line of Abraham. These are the cloud of witnesses. Now he says, we have to run our race. And I think the best way to understand how to run our race we find in 1 Timothy 6 verse 12. He says, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. We do not fight flesh and blood. Stop fighting everything. Relax. God is in control. His, his bow is forever in the clouds. His truth is forever in the clouds. What is the fight we must fight? Truth. Because we're living in a land of lies, in a bubble of light. We must let this truth come to our heads. But we live in a land of lies. We live in a realm of lies. Every ad you see is sort of a lie because they just put the best foot forward. I had a four-wheeler and we had a TV station and my children were making ads for a company. And 
this company is they, they clean carpets. So what my kids is, Mom, Mom, we want your quad bike. So they put the carpet out there <laughs> and they took all the videos of it and da, da, da. And then they came with a bike and they drove over it. So it's dirty. And when they made the video, they just swapped the clips. So they first showed the dirty ones and voila, 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 voila. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And this is how it's clean. It's a lie. The truth is turned into a lie. And this is what happens all the time. So if you lie seven times to yourself, you believe it is truth. So the big fight we are in is the lies. Because Satan is the father of lies. And God says his truth is in the heavens. What? Um, the Message Bible says, there are people that have lied so long and so hard that they've lost capacity for truth. So we need to get back to truth and really make a study of truth. He says, you are called and have a, a good profession before many witnesses. In other words, you have a good witness before many witnesses. What is the witness that we have to stand for? And that is truth. He says, I give thee charge in the sight of God, who quickeneth all things before Jesus Christ, who before Pontius Pilate witnessed a good confession that thou keep this commandment without spot, unrebukable, until the appearing of the Lord Jesus Christ. What did Jesus confess before Pontius Pilate? Let's quickly go back there. Pilate came in and he says, are you a king? He says, for this cause was I born. And then he says, but my kingdom is not of this world. So Pilate went out and he says, must I crucify your king? The people shouted and said, we have no king but Caesar. What? Those were the people that rejected God because they wanted a king. Now God sent the king of kings and the Lord of lords. And they said, no, we don't want him. Kill him. And they allied with Rome to kill him. So Pilate came back and he said, I'm confused. I'm confused. I don't know what is going on. He says, what is truth? And Jesus just stood there. He did the answer thing. He just stood there. Confused, Pilate went out and he said, well, take him and kill him. Guys, what was the confession Jesus had? That he was king and he will not bow and he will not defend it. Truth will defend itself. That is why when the lion came to meet with the lions on the earth, which is Babylon and all the kingdoms of the world, the Roman, the whole Roman system, he became a lamb because even in death, he was victorious because he was settled in the heavens. He came riding on the clouds. My beloved comes skipping over the mountains. He is from above the clouds, the glory. And he's the one because Jesus, oh, when he was baptized, God said, this is my son. Today I have begotten him. And he said, he glorified the son. So when you carry the glory, it means you carry the truth that is settled. You carry the word that is settled in the heavens. And you do not have to defend yourself. It doesn't matter what they do to you. <laughs> it will turn around and it will come back to you. Because what you carry is eternal. Do not exchange a lifelong gift for a short-term appetite.